let's talk about Cardano. Lots of negative headlines recently. Whales dumping all of their ADA and leaving Cardano. Should we be worried or should we be doubling down on Cardano ADA? Let's dig into it. Let's go. So we're going to start here then. Whale exits Cardano ADA completely with ADA down 80% from all-time high. So look, this is something that is rather interesting, right? We see an awful lot of negative headlines. And I, I've got, I guess, a, a view on this. I think that, you know, we saw this with uh, Bitcoin in the bear market, you know, Kramer, for example, saying that Bitcoin was being propped up by people that would benefit from it. And it was a scam and it was going to zero. And all this stuff that gets said, China banning Bitcoin, it's not just Cardano ADA. But look, I think when you see lots of negative headlines, and I've got one to show you a little bit later on in this video that highlights exactly what I'm talking about, right? And, um, you know, I'll go over my thoughts on that as well. I think it's really important. This video is you know, really my views on the market. I've been in the markets a long time. We've predicted pretty much flawlessly this uh, market for the last 24 months. So I want to really sort of dig into what is actually going on. And I think it's important that we we talk about this stuff because, you know, actually whales are, uh, are actually getting into the car down there. They've recently increased the amount of ADA that they hold, I think by like 10%. It's not even a small amount. So the really interesting stuff, we've got Cardano 3.21 billion ADA block major um, Cardano price move. So again, talking about the potential for a big move to the upside, right? According to in the block data, 3.21 billion ADA were bought by 202 uh, 040 addresses. Can't get my words out. Um, so 202 thousand addresses basically just over a range of 46 cent nine and 50 cent uh the average price being 48 cent four um so look there's there's a a, a price phase of discovery that i believe we're going to see very very soon and i've been talking about this on a few videos right i think we we should be expecting a, a green june right at least for the first sort of two or three weeks and then i think we might see a little bit of red but Look, I, for me, I'm really excited about uh, what's going on with Cardano. Uh, and I think that people should be sort of monitoring what's going on. We've got Cardano's top DEX, MinSwap, gunning for a Binance listing. And look, um, Cardano projects, like native projects, in my opinion, haven't really performed greatly uh, over the last few years. There's been one or two outliers, but... You know, the vast majority are really small projects with really small support, and they don't tend to to go on to do, you know, significantly well. And I think a lot of that, just my opinion, is the fact that they haven't really been getting major, you know, listings on exchanges. And there's a lot of people that will have you believe that it's infrastructure and, and, and all that sort of stuff that stops it from happening. Honestly, I, I, I think a lot of this is the fact that the the projects are just not willing to bump up the capital. I think the if we use um you know Mexi for example, um I think they're charging like sixty thousand US um D for for a listing these days. So it's not cheap to get these listings and, and particularly something like um you know Binance I imagine would probably be more expensive. So I want to be quite clear about what's what's going on, right? Um, there's a lot of projects that are just not willing to put in the capital. They're small-time players, a lot of these people, you know, launching projects on some of these ecosystems. And I think that a lot of it is, um, you know, they would have you believe that, you know, it's the exchanges that are causing the problems, stopping listings and stuff like that. I don't think it's necessarily the case. I spoke to a few exchanges. They'd quite happily list uh, Cardano native tokens. So interesting stuff. We got Cardano 10 million token milestone achieved. Uh, so again, just more milestones being achieved. Um, again, this is all to, you know talking about surpassing the 10 million native 
tokens, his achievement uh, underscores Cardano's increasing adoption within the blockchain and uh, cryptocurrency space. So really positive stuff that I think people need to be monitoring, right? This shows that the ecosystem is growing, but I do think that there's an awful lot of work that is still required in order for Cardano's native projects, I guess, to, to go on to do really, really well. We need bigger projects with deeper pockets and more investors willing to invest in them. I was asked actually on an AMA yesterday, you know, um, are you going to be looking at base uh, projects or projects on base? And I was like, well... I don't go out looking uh, for, for projects on Cardano. I don't go looking for projects, ba you know, the you know native to Solana or Base or any of these other blockchains. I'm really looking for solid projects, regardless of what chain they're on. You know, I, have they got legs? Do I see them? You know, being successful. What's the the sector that they're in like? You know, what's the possible amounts of money that could be you know, uh, made, uh, you know, by this project, you know, what are the team like? Um, I will look at the the chain that they're on, but it won't determine whether I invest or not, um, you know, in most cases. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Maybe that'll be something that changes in the future. We've got the total market cap of crypto at 2.54 trillion dollars, down 1.25%, Bitcoin at 67,888. Uh, down 0.91%. Cardano in temp down 1.2. Well, it's actually just changed uh, down 0.68% at 45 cent uh, 66. So in that um, you know purchasing zone that we were talking about by in the block. So look again, an, a, a, a time to accumulate before a potential move to the upside is how I'm viewing it. But you can let me know. Do you agree? Do you think Cardano is going to start to to rally on up shortly, or do you think there'll be further uh, downside? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying the content. It helps get more people into Cardano, uh, understanding what's actually going on in the market, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. We've got Bitcoin dips 2%, uh, Mt. Gox wallet moves $5 billion to unknown wallets. Um, so look, um, the, there's been a lot of movements of, uh, you know, particularly Bitcoin over the last few days. Um, you know, you're seeing all these, um, you know, wallets moving um, Bitcoin around. Uh, I don't think that this should be something that people are worrying about. This isn't um, moving to an exchange, but I think that this could potentially be a, a, an issue um, over the, the, the coming months, right, where we start to see you know, people that have been in Bitcoin for an awful long time start to exit Bitcoin uh, and go and live their lives, right? So uh, some of these people were getting in at like really, really low prices, um, you know, like sub $1,000 and so on. So, you know, with the price doing what it's done recently and what it, I believe that it's going to do in the coming months, there could be a lot of people that exit, right? And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. We got eighty-two million dollar Bitcoin mystery stuns world's largest exchange, one thousand one hundred and ninety-five Bitcoin valued at eighty-one point nine five million has just left Binance's uh, exchange to an unknown destination. So again, lots of people moving out of exchanges. Uh, and, you know, taking it out of circulation, in essence, this is, again, really bullish and another fundamental sign that we should be expecting prices to rise shortly, in my opinion. Uh, we've got JP Morgan casts doubt on SEC approval for Solana and other crypto ETFs. Uh, JP Morgan doesn't for, uh, foresee um, the SEC approving additional crypto ETFs following spot Ethereum ETFs uh, uh, approval, right? Um, that's unless U.S. policy ma makers pass legislation declaring most cryptocurrencies non-securities, and this is according to uh, one of their analysts. Now, what I would say is you're going to start to see this an awful lot now, right? Um, Nick, myself, JB, the team, we have talked about the fact that our expectations. This say this is before our expectations before the Bitcoin uh, ETF was approved. I said expect the Bitcoin ETF to be approved, followed by uh, an ETF, uh, spot ETF for Ethereum, right? This was before 
Bitcoin's ETF was approved. Um, we're now seeing the Ethereum ETF approved. I also went on to say to expect uh, future ETFs, you know, not straight away, a bit of time gap between the Ethereum one and when we start to see other altcoins get spot ETFs, the likes of Solana, uh, XRP, Cardano, Chainlink, Avalanche, just to list a few. This, these are things that I've talked about right now. We're seeing this sort of headline, right? This is the same as um, by Michael Saylor saying there will be no ETF for altcoins. Uh, there will only be a spot ETF for Bitcoin and Bitcoin is king uh, and all this nonsense. We see this all the time. This is exactly, um, you know, when I know I am on the right track. Yeah, like I'm ahead of the curve. I'm telling you what I think is going to happen. And actually, this just fills me with more confidence that I'm right, because they're trying to discourage people from investing in Solana um, because they want to get into Solana. Um, they want to be first in. They want to be the ones that make the money. They don't want you making the money. They want you worried, concerned that you'd be making the wrong decision. And for me, that is like the biggest sign uh, that, you know, that's what is actually coming and what is going to happen next when they're telling you this stuff is not going to happen. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit that like button. It really does support us. Comment as well. That also gets more people in the, uh, you know, the, the, the videos looking and uh, understanding what's going on with the Cardano ecosystem and the crypto market generally. Um, subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. I've recently started, uh, again, building a new portfolio, starting with $100. Go check out the video, link up above. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.